January 31st, 2023. I spent this past week mostly by myself, mostly holed up in my room, catching up on work, binge watching Gilmore Girls, but mostly just trying to drown out all the outside noise. This is not how I pictured my college life at all. 16 year old me who viewed the social aspect of college through rose colored lenses of fun parties every weekend in a big friend group would be disappointed to see 20 year old me who doesn't like going out more than two nights in a row and often stands in the middle of a crowded room feeling the weight of all the lives I'm not living. But despite not living my previous idea of the college experience, I'm actually pretty content with where I'm at now. I'm learning to let go of the ghost of the girl who 16 year old me thought I could become. This week, I surrounded myself with things I love. Reading, painting, yummy foods, flowers, me. And I just felt so, so happy. I'm glad I've come to accept that I can't possibly experience everything, so I'd much rather experience myself because I know I'm going to be able to look back at these years and say that I was truly happy, truly alive, and that I was able to find the magic in the ordinary life. I'm going to start off by thanking Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking for courses in the realm of math, science, computer science, or logic, Brilliant.org has tons of different interactive classes that can benefit anyone, whether you're a student that's struggling in a certain subject, or if you're just anyone who wants to learn something new. For me, I've been finding the logic course on Brilliant super helpful because it's kind of a fun way for me to practice my logic skills, in preparation for the law school exam, which I am taking very soon. I also started looking at classes I want to take for senior year when I go back to Cornell, and I honestly got kind of frustrated in the process because there's so many interesting classes that I want to take, but only so much that I can fit into two semesters. For example, I took computer science last year, so I have some foundational knowledge from the class, but it's also something that I really want to take to the next level just so I can solidify that skill. But because I can't fit it into my class schedule, I definitely plan on using Brilliant's computer science classes. It's also more low pressure than if you were to learn in a college environment, so you don't have to worry about exams or meeting deadlines, and it can definitely help if you are trying to learn a new skill without wanting to worry about all of that. You can get started with the link in my description box, and the first 200 people will get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription.
beautiful college courtyard in America. the phone to mommy hi happy birthday
dog in the yard and trees in the fields it's next to the water it's the prettiest scene with white picket fences I may be served as wonderful as this all seems This is beyond our means It's just a dream It's just a dream Now I can get you all that star Now I can give you all my love Free love Free love Welcome to painting night with me. So I was at Flying Tiger and I saw this. It's a mini canvas. Mini. Have I painted since I was in fifth grade in Miss Chun's art class? No. Did I still end up getting this because it was mini? Yes. I also got this watercolor set. Again, I haven't painted since I was in art class in elementary school, but I thought it would be a fun idea for tonight. So I have set up a little cute little working art space. Um, I have some biscuits that I got from Tesco's. I made myself some Earl Grey tea. I lit a candle. Okay, I ended up settling on this. It's like a rose. I felt like it would kind of go with the theme of my room, but it still looks pretty complicated. So we're gonna see how this goes. Couch to the open road. I just... 